everyone and welcome back to another Trenton World 3 video. In today's one we are going to be in the class 66 and we're going to be running between Hu Junction and Dartford uh, and we've got some JNAs behind us which I thought it would have been nice to have the new ones um, but yeah we've, we've got these for uh, today's run. So uh, let's get in, um, we've got to wait a moment, we've got two minutes to set up which is quite nice it gives you a bit of time to well to set up. As on quite a lot of the other ones, you didn't really have time. So, <clears throat> we got two minutes, that's nice. Um, they're all on. Yeah, beep, 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 beep. Uh, you go forward. Uh, let's charge the brakes. Uh, we're already on the goods. Are we on the goods brakes? Yeah, I think we are on the goods brakes already, which is good. Um, let's have a look. Are we on the goods? Yeah, we are on the goods brakes. And are the brakes cut in? Uh, yep, yeah, they're all good. Okay, it's pretty much all ready to go. Um, in fact, we'll just sort of slowly roll forward. We've got about 30 seconds, I reckon, until that signal turns to green. <clears throat> so, we're sort of just, well, yeah. Stay as we are. Oh, there we go. Just, I'm ready on the brakes. It's a little bit cheeky. Let's let it slowly, slowly, slowly move forward. And Dartford Platform 2. Oh, well, maybe not. I thought we might get away with that, but no. We're waiting for something. What are we waiting for? <clears throat> in fact, I'll contact the signal just in case. Um. Can you do it in this one? You can do it. You can do all of them now. Where do you do it on this one? Where's the GSMR? Oh, there. No, not even GSMR. Uh, wait, banking com. How do you contact the seg How do you contact the signaler in this? Oh, that's that's what we're waiting for anyway. Okay. Well, am I being silly here? I'm being silly, aren't I? What? FM one thousand. Well, maybe you can't. You got the banking com there. Maybe you can't. No, there is there is a phone. There it is. There that was being silly. There you go. Don't I wait for signal to change? Just blends in with there. But we're still waiting. Uh, I'm pretty certain that signal is that for us as well. No, that won't be for us, would it? Oh no, no, that's not for us. Well, we got to wait for that to get slightly further on, and we might be waiting for another train. Who knows? Um, it is quite possible. Okay, probably not. Well, we've just got to sit tight and wait for the signal to clear, which hopefully won't be too long. Um, although, you never know. There we go. Double yellow. Lot of sound of the 66. Sounds really good now. Slowly move forward. Let's be quiet. Let's turn that. I hope you can hear it alright. Let's get that open a bit. I haven't really spent too much time in the 66, so it's nice to be back in it. Does sound good though, doesn't it? Does sound good now. As it was sort of just one of those trains that was like, oh, I don't really want to drive the 66. And now it's like, oh, I want to drive it. It's cool. It sounds good. It's got a nice horn. It's great. Oh, we probably should have checked points, so they're already set, so we're all good. Don't panic. Panic over. Nice though, isn't it? You've got Who Junction, which is much busier now. Actually, looks like it's used. And that sounds nice as well, the clicky clack. The train is on the track. 
And you've got one of the uh, Who Junction staff uh, halts there. That wasn't there before that is added. Because remember the first time we did this, when we did the first look for South Eastern High Speed, I think I did pick up on that and I was like, hmm, that is there on the train simulator version. And Dadrail showed us this in one of his streams. Do check out Dadrail. Can't remember um, how we did it, but I suppose press enter. In fact, let's try and actually do that. How long is the train? 292 yards. No idea what that is in feet. Let's convert it. Yeah, let, let's convert it. Um, 292 yards in feet. I will find that, and we shall do it. Well, we'll try, we'll try to do it. Yards in feet. 876 feet. 800, I probably already forget. 876. 8, 7, 6. And then enter, I guess. Push switch button to begin. Where's the switch button? Is there like one down here somewhere? Speed control. Switch button. I don't know. Home, I guess. Home. Page out. Enter. Enter to say. Switch button. Hmm. I don't know. Time and I look to say. Oh, train alert. Oh, so that will count down. Oh, okay, I got it. Well, let's stop that. And then, I suppose, N, uh, enter. Cool. Well, we got that all uh, sorted. Save. Now we know how to use that. That's a little bit quiet from the outside. Oh, I can't really hear them. That's when we were starting, I couldn't really hear a lot. Inside, it's like a full, you know, full whack. Everything's going on. <clears throat> yeah, so we will be running on the new part from Gravesend to Dartford. But there's quite a few freight. I think there's like 21 freight services, which, as opposed to before, is quite a bit. So it's uh, it's decent. That sounds new. That does sound new, doesn't it? That must be a new, uh, yeah, it must be new running sounds to that, surely. I do not remember hearing that before. Let's get back in. We're a full blast at the moment as we make our way. And we've got a bit of a gradient to fight with after Graves End. Yeah, nice fun freight service. Fun freight. I'm not going to call that. I probably won't call the video that as it will sound a bit funny. Let's do some fun freight. <laughs> Onwards. We've got a warning board coming up. There's like two different speeds. One is a 40. So yeah, we're a 40. With the lower speed as we're freight. It's a really straight thing there. Look at that. <laughs> Canal or something. We might have to come to a stop before Graves End. Depends how far that javelin's got. Yeah, we might have to wait for that possibly. Hopefully not. But we might. But yeah, even that bit, Who Junction to Gravesend, is quite a long stretch. I mean, Gravesend is what here. So once we get to Gravesend, we're almost probably over a third of the way there. That's quite a long stretch about a station. Well, it doesn't feel that long, but then it is actually quite long. Sounds a bit funny, actually. That are we overheating it? Might be overdoing it a little bit. 
It's gonna be yellow, isn't it? No, no, just a warning board for 30. Well, we're already at 30, so we don't need to worry about it. Because we are going a little slow. Cool. Well, onwards we go. You might notice a slight little blip. Yeah, it's great. You have to go nip off and do something quick. We're all good. Luckily, it wasn't too long. <laughs> so all I could do is just save it. No, uh, pause it. I don't have to bring on something else, you can't actually save the game at the moment on Train Sim World 3. So, yeah, I suppose if you're doing a long run, make sure you have enough time to do it. Or you could, on well, the newer sort of consoles, you can, I think with Xbox, you can just keep it on some sort of quick resume. So I think you can sort of turn it all off and then keep it on a quick resume. You might be able to do that, actually. Um, but you can't save the game at the moment. Only temporarily. Is it just me or is the audio been a little bit funny? It was fine before. Well, I suppose we've only done really light loco runs, I think, so far. That can't be right, can it? I mean, we're not overheating it, we're, you know, only at, what was that, 500 amps? Sounds a little bit quiet. There's a uh, 465 there. There we go. And this way you usually have to end, but no, we can continue on. Which is very nice. And you look at that, it does seem quite fast through Gravesend, doesn't it? Got the wagons sort of flying past. There's another jav. That sounds better as well. Let's get some speed on us. I could have actually uh, demonstrated the um, distance thing there. That would have actually been perfect for that. Oh well. Probably another. Well, there is another speed board actually. Although that's for dropping down speed, not increasing. Oh my god, let's get a flyby shot. It sounds a bit quiet from the outside. There was actually an update today, so maybe that's um, done something to it. It just sounds a bit quiet. Yeah, it almost sounds like we're coasting there. I'm sure I'm recording this on the... Uh, what is today? The 5th of September? Yeah, 5th of September at 17.22. There was an update, so... I don't know, maybe that's done something. Which it shouldn't have done. Quite possibly. Pretty chilled out in the freight train though. Just go along, not stopping anywhere. Nice and chilled. Anyone found any interesting freight services where you have to do weird and wacky things? A little lake down there on the left, a reservoir. Probably a reservoir, isn't it? Can't be sure, any? maybe not. Maybe a lake, don't know. Goodbye, HS1. Well, that's where it goes off to. I see HS1 down there, I think. Or over in the distance. There we go, we're going over. As we accelerate our way up. Right, let's just coast for now. We get a nice uh, flyby shot through um, North Fleet. Nice flyby shot as well. 
You see a little bit of screen tear there, but oh well. That's just my PC version. Not really noticeable if you're not looking out for it. Then we go up and over high speed ramp. You can see we're approaching it. So I guess what did this used to be before? Just I guess just an embankment really. Yeah, it must have just been an embankment. So it's quite quite handy, I guess. So to do a little bridge. Then you got Swan's Coombe here. There's a 465 at the moment. There we go, that one's up. The lovely motor sounds. And uh, Green Hive comes up next. <clears throat> Is that another train behind it? Oh my god, it's busy along here. I don't know what time of day I do. What time of day is it? I can't remember now. Someone, you, you probably know. But yeah. Oh, it's got to be morning, hasn't it? Or midday-ish. But wow, another train already. Pretty cool to see, though. Like it. Still applying a little bit of power, just sort of maintain speed. Don't want to lose too much speed. And then we go around here into a tunnel. Um, and then after Green Hub, you've got Stone Crossing. Then I think you've got a 50 mile an hour limit. I don't know for freight. Um, I'm being a bit risky doing Huddlers uh, in freight, so I'll just be a bit more cautious. I didn't see the speed ball for the 70. So it could have been a slightly lower for freight, so taking a bit of a gamble there. Then you come out into, blinded by the light as you come into Green Hive. Oh, oh, oh wow, okay. We do need to bring that down. It looks like the speed is uh, 45. So we've been a little bit naughty there, I must say. I don't know where, where was the 70? I didn't see it. Ah, oh, it's probably right at the end of Graves then, wasn't it? Whilst we got that flyby shot. That's all good. It was only 5 over. I'm sure the manager will allow it. Now you got Stone Crossing coming up. They got like speedy shed or something. Stone crossing station. Quite a small little station. Not too much going on. Quite a narrow sort of skinny um, station as well. Cool. And then next up is a 40 for us. Which we're already at 40 now, so that's uh, that's fine. Yeah, it must be an issue with the audio on the outside. It's not making it all any noise. working up a bit of a grade here as well. Awesome, well we're getting there. And then through Dartford you get the unexpected 20 mile an hour limit. Which is one of those speeds which doesn't really appear on the HUD until quite late. You've sort of got to know it's there. Round we go. AWS. Warning for a 40. Well, we're already at 40. It was 40 anyway for us. And 
around the corner. Not too far now. Oh my god, I came around the corner there and was like, oh no, that's a red. But no. It's double yellow. I couldn't have been a red unless there was some sort of signal glitch or failure. Has anyone had that where you just come across a red light after a green? Obviously, a glitch. Has anyone come across that before on a train sim world journey? That must be bloody scary. You got the uh, trains, I think, and took that. There must be turn back sidings there. <coughs> and down to 20, which I don't think there is actually any sort of warning aboard. No, it just sort of just starts. That's what you sort of expected to know it, aren't you? No, it just cuts off. Weird. That does sound good, though, the new uh, sounds there. Uh, Here we are, coming into Dartford. <clears throat> but if you've got any service suggestions, do pop them below. What are the weird and wacky services where you're chasing yellow, chasing yellow the whole time, doing some weird reversing move? Let me know. I'd have to try them. All the flange sounds round there. So if a freight between Gravesend and uh, Stone Cross, then yeah, it seems to be 45. That will do, we don't need to go right into any stop marker or a freight train. There we go. Uh, well, that was Who Junction to Dartford. Hopefully, everyone did enjoy it. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.